royalty. Hey Empress, hey Empresses, how are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. First things first, I only have one YouTube page, one Instagram page. It's at Mecca Dreams. Don't get scammed, okay? You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed in the description box. Let's begin. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest light, like, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit. Please come down and guide, protect me, and cover me. And please come down and bless the viewers I have clicked on this video today. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, which is Aquarius needs to know. Peace and thank you about what's going on with them. Oh, Aquarius. Okay, so you guys have like a, you guys could be going with a fire sign. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So you guys are just in male or female. You're in like a, a very dominating masculine energy. You could be like a leader, a visionary, a go getter. It's like you're in your you're in your prime at this time. You're, you're not about to talk. You're about to you're about to walk. Like you're about <laughs> you about to like you're, you're about taking action. You're about bossing up. You're bossing up. You're leveling up in different aspects of your life. Yeah, and I cannot make it up. Somebody's in regret over this because it's like the wheel has spun. Ooh, this could be. Um, a, a Scorpio, a Taurus, or a Leo, or another Aquarius. Okay, there's somebody that's in sadness. Somebody's in regret. Ooh, Five of Cups energy. They're like crying over spilled milk. They're crying over things they can't change. What else for Aquarius? But yeah, something happened. Something was a fated event that was meant to happen, and it's putting someone to shame. Like they're walking around with their head down. <laughs> there you go, Aquarius. Ah! <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you guys took action to heal. Okay, you guys could have took action to go towards your faith, your calling, your purpose, your divine mission. It's like you guys took action to be authentic, to be honest, okay? It's like you guys took off some type of blindfold that someone was trying to keep you on, some type of illusion. Somebody was giving to you for the benefit of them, and it was deep emotions and feelings attached to it. And it's like you you got out of it. It's like you, you got out of it, and now this person is regretful that they even did this. With the star card, it's like you guys have evolved to the place where... People are noticing you with the star. People are people are being able to see who you are. You're in a place where you're being highly recognized. This is like world known for some of you guys. Okay, you could be at a place where God is really elevating you in regards to your career or something that you do naturally, it's a natural gift or talent. This is also a wish coming in. Yeah, after some type of betrayal. Somebody was hopeful that they could have betrayed you as well. Okay, with the Ten of Swords. Okay, you could also be having a renewal in regards to your faith. Okay, after someone here could have tried to snake you, betray you, what else? For Aquarius. Yeah, the, everything is good, though. You saw how the Ten of Swords is in the deck, but look what popped out. You're fine. Everything is fine. Everything is good. Father God is covering you, protecting you. Okay, there definitely was an abrupt ending or shift or some type of painful betrayal that took place with someone that you may have a family with. You could, um, this could be like, you don't have a family with this person. You could have like, this could be like um, people that you consider family, your friends, your family, close loved ones. Okay, people that you have deep emotional um, connections to, deep bonds with. Okay, it seems like something has came to an end. Okay, something came to an end so that you can have true emotional happiness, healthy connections that pour back into you that actually fulfill you on a deeper level. Okay, something, somebody here was, um, you guys could have been in like a situation, even a family unit or something that really played on your heartstrings for a long time with the Knight of Pentacles. You could have been very patient with it or you could have been, you know, just letting it grow, letting it go the way that it was like you thought it was, it was meant. But someone here was wasting your time. They were literally wasting your time. What's the five of cups? Yeah, somebody's, you're getting happiness. There go that king of wands. It's somebody's taking action towards, towards their person. I see that too. So there's someone that's in regret because you're getting ready to get happiness. This person is stressed out. You could be taking action towards somebody that they did not want. Okay, so for some of you guys, you're taking action towards a connection or a person that you feel like you're aligned with. Okay, this is someone that you feel like matches your energy. Okay, they, they could be very energetic like you, very vivacious, or someone that is down for battle, down for war, down to go up for the cause for God. Okay, you guys could also be dealing with a Libra, or they could have, you, you could um, have that in your birth chart. But somebody is up at night, they're stressed because of how passionate you are towards getting your way. Nine of Cups. <clears throat> and it's favor coming in 
because of it. It's a lot of blessings and open doors come become because of it. This is like y'all could have gotten some type of information online too with the eight of wands and the wheel of fortune. Somebody here could have also gotten information about your birth chart. Or you could have been finding out information like about your birth chart. What's this wheel of fortune? Something was a lesson. Something was karmic in your life. And someone is realizing this, that you have learned the lesson. So now you're able to progress forward with the wheel of fortune. Yeah, there you go. Now you're able to progress forward. This was definitely something that was meant to end you. Somebody here wanted to put you in a state of being like feeling like you were defeated, like you cannot go on at all in regards to life. Someone here wanted you to need them as well. What's the star? But you evolved, you healed yourself. Yeah, they did not see this with the two of swords. They didn't want, they didn't want to see this. Someone here didn't want to see your growth as well. Like they didn't want to see like who you truly are, how much you have evolved and grown. So there's a couple here, y'all. There's a king and the, there's a queen of wands. What's the king and queen of wands? These people want us to block you. Okay, so y'all had a couple going. Y'all definitely need to watch the Libra reading. Okay? Y'all could be in this empress or emperor energy. Y'all may stand on your own. You could be a mother or a father or not. Or not. You could just be a business owner, very financially abundant. You're able to provide for yourself and others. And someone here wanted to block you from elevating to this level of life. And it was a couple that did this. You could have blocked these people. Like, you could have, like, who are these people? You could have blocked these individuals. Yeah, you intuitively knew. Somebody here, somebody here was trying to get y'all caught up in a court of law as well. Some type of court situation. The Queen of Cups, the Justice, and the, the Ten of Cups. I'm sorry, the Ten of Swords. Somebody wanted to get y'all caught up in a court situation where y'all was not going to be able to get out of. Oh, my gosh. And your intuition could have been telling you don't trust it. <clears throat> There's also karma for these people because they tried to betray you. They could have looked at you as, like, loving but also naive. There also could have been like a water sign involved. Who's the Queen of Cups or and the Pisces? With too many cards and towers. Yeah, it's, it's it's an exposure happening. There's an exposure that somebody was literally trying to burden, bring pressure, like really make somebody fall out. Somebody here was trying to take somebody out because they were successful, because they're recognized for something that they do. The Ace of Swords. You're going to get the truth about this. Someone here was trying to set you guys up in regards to getting, like, going to jail, having legal matter matters, legal troubles, legal issues, legal conflict. They wanted y'all to go down with the Ten of Swords. They wanted it to be a, a bad, painful experience for you. And it's because of the way that you love, the way that you are. How compassionate you are, how kind you are, how kind you are, how you how you could be very spiritual, very empathetic, very intuitive. A sweetheart, the Queen of Cups is a sweetheart. You guys are coming out as the Queen of Cups and the Star. There was a there was a there was a group that tried to do this. This could have been an Earth sign as well. <clears throat> but you're gonna get the truth about how somebody was doing this for money. To cause this, to cause this delay, the hangman. It could have been a Pisces. What's the Queen of Wands? This was someone that they were juggling. This could have been someone they had a past with, okay? Or they were going back and forth with this individual and you. This King of Pentacles was doing this. Yeah, you could have gotten a reading done and knew that somebody, like somebody, may like to smoke with the Ace of Wands, or they had a new start, or it was about sex. Okay, somebody here could have been very militant or aggressive and they were angry and hostile that you moved away from this situation and you chose a completely different pathway. You chose something new. This definitely has to do with something you do online as well with the star. You are a star for something that you do. You shine very bright. Okay, you shine very bright. 
then it's, it's a part of your like birth chart. It's a part of something that you're supposed to do. You're supposed to be doing this. Somebody was very upset. Yeah, they thought that they were going to be able to outsmart you, out your money, the Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. They thought that they were going to be able to take your money from you. <clears throat> but you already knew something was up with the Nine of Wands. Like you were like, I am not trusting this. Okay, it was some type of new opportunity that came in. This could have been like a new move, a financial move. You could have gotten like a, a big purchase, a house, a car, a home, some type of investment that this person wanted to keep their hands in. And it wasn't just him or her. It was like they had somebody else that they were working together with. It was like different people that they were working together with. They were going back and forth with these different people with these plans. It also could have been like um, bank transfers with the two of pentacles and the, the um, king of swords. Somebody here could have been trying to do like bank transfers. Yeah, eight of wands, a lot of bank transfers with the freaking page of pentacles. So somebody here, you need to watch your bank account. Yeah, because something that they are watching online will change your passwords. Somebody here has been really methodically watching you for a long period of time. They've been like watching your moves with a king of wands and getting and taking action. Somebody wants to cause a, a defeat to you. Okay, it's like you're being led to move away from this person. This may not be a fire sign. This could just this is just the energy that they are in. Okay, this could just be, this could be an earth sign, this could be a water sign, this could be, this is just the energy that they are in. This is the energy that they're in. They're in the, the, in the energy of taking action, wanting something to be done. Yeah, this, this could be this is an earth sign. This could be an earth sign, y'all, with the king of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, male or female. This could be someone that's a business owner, a boss. They could be a father figure, a mother. This is the truth. I cannot make it up. This is the truth. Like, they, they could be a mother figure, a father figure. They could be a boss, a CEO. They could be, like, an independent contractor. They may, what's the king of pentacles? Yeah, this is someone that wants to try to heal with you. They want you to make a very rash decision. They want to bring balance to a situation with the temperance angel, Sagittarius energy. But it, it, it's to, it, to be make you impulsive. Okay, it has to do with your finances, your ace of pentacles, your resources. The chariot coming out sideways, they want to take from you. Yeah, they don't want something to go forward successfully with the chariot. They could have been, oh, yeah, you're going to be finding this out that someone was doing this. Okay, they someone here could be pregnant with the empress. Or they could have been trying to get you pregnant. Or they feel like you are very fertile, you're very abundant. But you, it's like you are able to manifest what you want. Okay, you have a lot of resources around you. Yeah, and you have a lot of new offers coming in as well. Somebody was trying to stop this. You're going to be finding this out with the Eight of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. Okay, what's the chariot? They did not want something to move forward successfully for you. They wanted it to be stagnated. They've been working on this or thinking about this plan for a long period of time in regards to how to do this and how to orchestrate it and how to get it done. And it could be because of who you are. It could be a Libra involved in this. A Pisces is here as well. Yeah, the letter G could be significant. First, middle, or last initial, initial yours or theirs. Or the letter P. Somebody has an STD. <sighs> Old car always comes out. Or a sexually transmitted demon. They're having sex with someone that could be working out of a negative vibration. Yeah, this is someone that has their family and friends are jealous of you. I cannot make it up with that five of swords. They're plotting to try to cause defeat. Some type of ending in your life and it's because of your finances you have this new opportunity these people are late on bills yeah it could be a pisces they're also trying to get you pregnant or there's someone that's pregnant and this was their worst nightmare they did not want this to happen someone got someone pregnant and it's their worst nightmare the letter w could be significant someone here could have tattoos okay strength is really going to be required in regards to this like really holding yourself back Really like, you know, understanding what's going on. Yeah, that was a tarot card, y'all. Yeah, somebody got have a shortcut in deep ways. This is someone that could be wanting you to feel like you need them or, or feel like, you know, they're an asset in your life and they're not. The letter N could be, I mean, the initial N could be significant. First, middle, or last initial. Something happened two months ago. Yeah, there's also someone, ooh, some, yeah, with you. Something, something new is coming in. This is also new love and new opportunities that's coming for, coming for you, coming towards you. Somebody smokes a lot. Or they want to pull up on you. They want to smoke with you. They want to drink with you. 
they also are dealing with a karmic individual. Yeah. The letter Q could be significant. There's someone that is jealous of you. There's a karmic that's that's plotting with this individual, male or female. They're also throwing things at you and it backfired. How can I make it up? And it's because you're an empress. They were trying to set you up. And that's why they have bad karma. It could be an emperor. This could have been your person, you know, and they got with a jealous karmic that is in the mix. This person could be pregnant at this time or they could have gotten somebody pregnant. Okay. And they're trying to make it, this, this karmic was making it difficult for this person to leave. And now they're all broke. <clears throat> oh, this was a third party situation. Oh my God. Something don't want me to say this. <laughs> oh my gosh. My throat like. Something does not want me to say that. Something does not want me to say that. I had a hard time getting that out. Oh my gosh, I rebuke that energy. In the name of Jesus. This is a drama starter. Oh my goodness. Yeah, your spirit guys have stepped in. I'm seeing here. Something's getting ready to take place this fall. This person could be wanting to spoil you. Okay, you're acting like they want to spoil you, but they really just want to start drama in your life. You need to stay away from this individual, Aquarius. Okay, yeah, you need something about letting your friends help you. What about this? Okay, you could be letting your friends help you at this time. You could be connecting to your friends. Okay, be mindful of taking advice from everybody. Okay, go towards the path because you do deserve love. Go towards your path. Go towards what your intuition is telling you. Yeah, because some of your friends got financial issues. Okay, so they could be keeping you in a situation because they want to feed off of you. Okay, for some of you guys. Yeah, for some of y'all, your friends is not safe for you to love. Oh, my gosh. Or they could be taking you towards a direction in a, with an individual or with an environment where it's just not safe for you to be real, for you to love, for you to vibe high. This came out in the reverse, y'all. So be mindful of certain people that you are opening up to as well. Yeah, because they are very deceptive. These are people that have unrequited love for you. The love is unreciprocated. It's not honest. It's not real. It's fake. Okay, but they could be very much attracted to you or wanting to be around you. These could also be people that are dealing with needing to heal family issues. They have issues in regards to their family, childhood wounds that they have been neglecting. And they may project onto you. Okay, so be mindful of that. All right, y'all. I hope this resonated with y'all. May peace and blessings be to you always. And I will be seeing y'all on the next.